reporter. One, week two. You have your name there. Your period. Okay. Then you have Tuesday. A boutique sold $127.50 worth of purses. How many purses did they sell? When I'm looking at it, it, the amount that it sold for isn't in the story problem, but it is on the purse. So if I sold $127.50, each is $7.50, so I can't get any more than $127.50, so instead of, sometimes when you see each, you think multiplication, but what's the opposite of multiplication? Division. Division. So we're going to take $127.50 divided by $7.50. When I am doing my division, you need to move the decimal out of the divisor. As many places I move it out of the divisor, I move it out of the dividend. And here it's the same amount of sp spaces. You rewrite it. And then our trick is, if both of them end in zeros, I'm going to get rid of them. So now I'm just dividing by a two-digit number and not a three-digit number. So then I take, 75 doesn't go into 1, it doesn't go into 12, but it goes into 127 one time. One times 75 is 75. 7 minus 5 is 2. 12 minus 7 is what? 5. There we go. Bring down the 5. Now I don't know how many times 75 can go into 525. So I'm going to do some critical thinking before I have to guess and check. 75 is close to about 100. So 100 times 5 is 525, but that's but 75 is 25 less. So I might want to try 6 or 7. Go up one. So let so I just hear someone said let's try 7. So I'm going to come over here to the side and take 70 times 7, 75 times 7. 7 times 5 is 35. 35. 7 times 7 is 49. Plus 3. Plus 3 makes 52. Another reason why I should choose 7 is because it ends in a 5. If I try 6, 6 times 5 would end in a 0. So I have 0 left, and so my final answer is 17. Number 2. It just says to find the difference. That is just subtracting. There's no reason. You cannot do 366,825 minus 236,657. All of you can do that. Five minus seven, I can't do, so I borrow. The two becomes a one, this becomes a 15. 15 minus seven is eight. eight. I cannot take one minus five, so the eight becomes a seven, this becomes an 11. Notice I'm showing all of my work. So 11 minus 5 is 6. six. six. 7 minus 6 is yeah. 6 minus 6 is yeah. 0. 6 minus 3 is 3. And 3 minus 2 Five. is 1. Good. And then add my comma. 1, 2, 3, comma. Yeah, I got that one back in the way. Number 3. Same setup as the problem to the left, fill in the blank. So I have a blank in the top, a blank over here, 25 on the right, and a 39 on the bottom. To get the bottom number, you add those two numbers. To get the top number, I multiply those two numbers. How, could I figure out my top number first? No. no because I don't know what this number is. To find this number, it's like saying what plus 25 is 39, so I just take 39 minus 25 and I get 14. 
Then I do 14 times 25, so I come over to the side and I do 25 times 14. When sometimes when looking at these problems, you get overwhelmed. Yeah. You don't have to go from the top to the bottom. Sometimes you can go from the bottom to the top. But what you want to start with is what you know. I knew the 25 and I knew the 39 and I remembered what I added to get, I, this was my answer total. So then I have to work backwards. Okay, backwards would be 39 minus 25. Mm -hmm. So then we're here. Four times five is 20. Four times two is eight plus two makes 10. Add a zero. One times five is five. Two times one is two. So we're at 350. So that is my number on the top. Four. Notice I just moved up because I know I've got a lot of space here. I can fill it out. How long will it take you to drive 135 miles at a speed of 45 miles per hour? So I'm going at, I always write my speed first, 45 miles per one hour. And it's telling me I am going 135 miles. So I want to know how long will that take me? So that is my X. If you know in your head 45 times something gives me 135, then I know one has to be times the same thing. But if we don't, we're going to do the cross multiplication. Because these are equivalent ratios. So now I have 45x equals 135. I'm going to divide by 45 to each side to get x alone. So I'm going to take 135 divided by 45. Now, if 45 can't go in, it can go in there more than once. If it goes in there twice, 5 times 2 would end in a, in a 0 because 5 times 2 is 10. So is 2 going to be my good answer here to try? Uh, no, it's going to be 3. But if you don't know it, some of you do, but I'm going to do, come down here and 45 times 3. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 4 is 12 plus 1 makes 13. So that's 135. So X equals 3. That's all of the work that you have to show for number four. Okay. Number five. We have the numbers five, then 10, then 20, then 40, and we need to figure out what this number equals. So I had to get from five to 10 times two. Let's see if that's going to work the whole way. 10 times two. Yep, it's 20. 20 times two. Yep, that's 40. So 40 times two is 80. Is that right? Six. Simplify, which means to answer it. So using the rules of the order of operations. So then I have 19 minus 1 and 67 hundredths plus a negative 2 and 4 tenths. Left to right. So I have a 19 minus 1 and you need a and 67 hundredths. Write it up and down. Add a decimal. Two zeros. The 9 becomes an 8, the 0 becomes a 10, the 10 becomes a 9, and that <coughs> 0 becomes a 10. Bless you. So now I have 10 minus 7, which is 3. 9 minus 6 is 3. <coughs> Bless, you. Bless you. 8 minus 1 is 7, and 1 minus nothing is 1. one. All we had to do was subtract. But now we're adding a negative. When I have a, bless you, when I have a positive number and a negative number, and they say to add, what you're really doing is subtracting and keeping the number of the bigger number, 
or the sign of the bigger number, not the number of the bigger number. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> so I'm going to subtract 2 and 4 tenths. You can put a placeholder here if you'd like. Three minus zero is three. I can't do three minus four, so the seven becomes a six. Three becomes a 13, and then 13 minus four is nine. nine. Bring down the decimal. Six minus two is four. And one minus nothing is four. I did it right to Then what we need to do is keep the sign of the bigger number. The bigger number is 17. 17 is larger than a negative 2. So then this will just stay positive. Yeah, I did. did you do a negative? Okay, let me show you another way that you can get, get it. Because some of you are saying, I, I did it another way, which is fine. I'm going to rewrite it. Because yesterday I showed you the other way. I did it right. Because I'm doing... A uh, negative and a negative. I've got. Can I combine my two negatives by adding those two together? So let's do one and sixty-seven hundredths plus two and four tenths. That's a seven. This is a ten. So I have four and zero and seven hundredths. So now I need to take nineteen, and th those are negative numbers, right? Mm -hmm. So keep the negative. So then it's 19 minus 4 and 7. 9 becomes an 8. This becomes a 10. The 10 becomes a 9. This becomes a 10. 10 minus 7 is 3. 9 minus 0 is 9. 8 minus 4 is 4. And bring down the 14 in my... And we were just subtracting. So... Answer. Get the same answer. Yep. You want to show you that part too? No, you okay. only needed one. I did the right to one. Seven. Both. We have a negative 20 and 48 hundredths divided by negative four. So I'm going to write it in the subtraction box. And I notice I wrote it without the negative number. So 4 goes into 20 five times. 5 times 4 is 20. Bring up the decimal. Bring down the 4. 5 goes into 4, excuse me, 4 goes into 4 one time. Bring down the 8. 4 goes into 8 two times. Now I have 5 and 12 hundredths is it going to stay negative It'll or be is it going to be positive? Negative. It's actually going to be positive. How? Because How? what you're going to write off to the side, a negative divided by a negative equals a positive. I wrote that somewhere, but I lost it. We wrote like a, so is it negative a plus negative a negative times a negative equals uh, a positive. Yeah, I wrote that somewhere, but I can't find it. And the last one I'm going to do on the back because I showed you two examples there, so I'm out of room. So number eight. In May, Jim's lunch account has a balance of $58.19. If lunch costs $2.74 per day, per, you can either be doing multiplication or division because per means each each day it's two dollars and seventy four cents how many days will jim be able to buy lunch before his account runs out of money we take the fifty eight dollars and nineteen cents divided by two dollars and seventy four cents because that's my total and this is how much each lunch is going to cost and I want to figure out how many days. So I need to move the decimal point out of the divisor, so I move it out of the dividend. So then I need to rewrite it. 
5,819 divided by 274. So now I don't know this, so it doesn't go into 5, it doesn't go into 58, but it goes into 581. How many times though? Well, if it goes in there once, I think it could maybe go in there twice. Possibly. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do 274 times 2. Because I think it's more than one, but not more than three. So two times four is eight. That's fourteen. No, five hundred forty-eight. Yep, that'll yep. work. So make sure you line it up that the two goes above the one. Yeah. So I'm going to subtract five hundred forty-eight. The eight becomes a seven. The one becomes an eleven. Eleven minus eight. Three. 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 Seven minus four. Uh, six. Three. three. And then we need to bring down the nine. Bring down the nine. Well, looking if it was times two, that's more than that, so it can only go in there one time. Yeah. So I'm going to subtract 274. Nine minus four is five. five. The three becomes a two. This becomes a thirteen. Thirteen minus seven is six. Six. So I got sixty-five. If I would add a decimal. Bring the decimal up, add a zero, bring the zero down. 650 is a little bit more than that, so we can go on at least two more times. Oh, and I'm going to do this bad. math here. Oh, boy. Okay, but I'm going to stop right now because it said how many days can he eat a lunch? And he wants to know how many... So the days would only be 21 days that he could eat lunches. He will have a little bit of money left over because there's a remainder or a decimal, but I can only get 21 full days. What you need to do now is to make sure you're taking a picture, submitting it to, today is Tuesday, September 1st. Bell work, go ahead, thank you.